We did discuss which celebrity athlete power couple will last longer, not in the bedroom, as a couple. <laughs> Is it Taylor Swift and Kelsey or Kim Kardashian and OBJ? And, of course, we talked Coach Prime and more, but we did discuss it. Check yeah. it out. Well, here's what Travis Kelsey finally said about Taylor Swift. He was on the McAfee show. I threw it out there. I threw the ball in her court. And, you know, I told her, you know, maybe uh, I've seen you rock the stage in Arrowhead. You might have to come see me rock the stage in Arrowhead and see which one's uh, a little more lit. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens in the near future. It is so lit. I love the fact that these two could be together. I never get wrapped up in, like, the – I like pop culture stuff, but I never get wrapped up in the celebrity couples. I'm like, who cares? It's not me. I don't know their relationship. I'm not into that. But for some reason, I feel like a real man like Travis Kelsey, Taylor Swift dates like weenie pop guys that are like, you know, skinny dudes that like sing uh, love songs. We don't know what sort of beefcakes she's been with behind closed doors. No, but I'm saying like most of the We just dudes, know the weenies she's you know, known for dating. Like, the, like you know, like the artsy, skinny type, oh, I'm sensitive. She might need a man like Travis Kelsey. And who knows? This could be magic. But I have a theory. So don't worry. I'm not going to be talking about dating. My theory is if she does go see Travis Kelsey at Arrowhead, let me break out the schedule because my theory goes a little something like this. Hit it. It's got to be a must. It's got to be a easy Chiefs win. Because so this Sunday. This Sunday. It's got to <laughs> yes. be against the Bears. Chicago. Because, Ramos, think about it. If Travis Kelsey finally gets Taylor Swift to come see a game, she's sitting in the booth with Mahomes' wife, and they're all like, there she is. Every five minutes, the camera on Fox or CBS is like, and there's Taylor Swift here to see her man. If they lose that game, oh my goodness, would the sports and entertainment world run with like the curse of Taylor Swift? Yes, the answer is yes. It, or God forbid, Kelsey has a bad game, right? Oh, it's because Taylor Swift was there. They yeah. need to see. They need to have a guarantee, and it they might need be to, this week. They need to break out the analytics. Like, what team does poorly defensively against tight ends? Which team will the Chiefs rock? Because you can't bring in Taylor Swift to watch Travis Kelsey. On a prime time game where they have a tough opponent. You know, that might sound silly to some people listening to Fox Sports Radio, but I actually think it's a legitimate point. I just want to back you up on I, that, Rich. Remember I make, when Michael Jackson showed up to which Sometimes. basketball what basketball game did Michael Jackson show up to? And like they literally had to stop it and ask him to yeah, leave. Yeah, I remember that. Right? Because it was such a distraction. It was such a big deal. I'm not saying tail. I mean, I'm not saying it, but other people do compare Taylor Swift's popularity to Michael Jackson. Oh, dude, I mean, she's shut, right she now, shuts down cities, the, she's the economy. The biggest, yeah, she's the biggest thing going, so she is a distraction in itself. So if they were to have a bad game or even lose the game, or if Travis Kelsey were to not play well, guaranteed that would be the story. Rich is not wrong. I, and, you know, again, I'm not the biggest Swifty, but I, I do recognize the fact that she has a concert, and the parking lot is filled with thousands of people that can't get in, and they rather just sing in the parking lot. It's insane. I looked it up for you, Rich. Which defense gives up the most points to tight ends so far for 2023? The Chargers, one. The Giants, two. The Chicago Bears, three. Get her to Arrowhead stat. It's got to be this weekend or bust, because you know where their next few home games are, Danny G? The Chargers... And the Broncos, you don't want to do a division game. That could get fishy. And then the Eagles come to town. Oh, I don't like that either. The Bills? No. Well, tonight, you got to get Taylor Swift there this weekend. I was going to say, this weekend would be the number one answer on the board. But She's off it, by the way. It's barely public. And there hasn't even been a, been a photo of these two, as far as we know, put out there. Dude, so it'd be a little soon for that to happen. No no, I mean, yeah, I don't know. It'd be a little uh, soon for the I'm public, telling you, I think. D I'm, I'm Remember, being, she has an image. Her fans think, would be like, all right, eh? You think, you think that I'm, I'm loving the pop culture angle of this? I'm really just logistically thinking about what it would mean for Travis Kelsey and the Chiefs. If Taylor Swift comes in there and they lose, it's a distraction. And then it becomes... But when you look at her touring schedule, because you have to look at her touring schedule and the Chiefs' home schedule. Oh, that's a good point. She goes back out on tour in November. So we got like a month window here of 
Where could Taylor Swift go see Travis Kelsey and it not be terrible? All right, it's the Taylor Swift schedule watch on the Cavino and Rich show. It's actually the Taylor Swift schedule curse watch because depending on when she goes, that could be the storyline. We want to prevent that from happening. It's got to be this Sunday. It's got to be this Sunday, Sunday, but I don't think it will be this Sunday. Or Thursday night football against the Broncos on October 12th because then she goes back on tour and they start playing really tough teams at home. And by the way, I, I was right. <laughs> Michael Jackson went to see Magic Johnson play with the Lakers, one of the first celebrities to show support after the whole HIV thing to Magic Johnson. And Johnson recalls in a recent article, too, that he invited Michael Jackson to a Lakers game and they had to stop the game to get him out because it was such a distraction. It caused a now, huge ruckus. I remember that. Yeah, I remember that story as well. So if... That's the sort of reaction that Michael Jackson gets. What sort of reaction are you going to get when Taylor Swift shows up to support Travis Kelsey? <laughs> it might sound ridiculous. It does, but it's it's reality. Because it is ridiculous, but when you think about what's reported on TMZ Sports and what people talk about on Fox Sports, ESPN, everywhere, this Travis Kelsey, Taylor Swift thing, you know who's talking about it? You would think Kavino and Richwood because we talk about a lot of nonsense. Cowherd's talking about it. Stephen A. Like, we're talking about, talking about the analytical guys They're are talking about two big mega stars. So, and by the way, I'll, I'll prove it to you right now. This is going to be the headline if they were to lose or if Kelsey were to have a bad game. Had we known that Kim Kardashian was dating Odell Beckham Jr. prior to his injury, the second he rolled his ankle, people would be like, oh, that, that's the Kim Kardashian curse. If we had known that, we would have been saying, oh, I hurt his ankle because of Kim Kardashian. Oh, he's cursed. Is she up in the, in the suite with... Patrick Mahone's wife. That would I. Like that's my picture. Sitting next oh, to each man. other. She gets her own suite, and Brittany Mahomes hates her. Now. <laughs> that's the, <laughs> that's the other storyline. <laughs> she starts throwing beer on fans with Brittany Mahomes. Yeah, she starts yeah. doing TikTok dances with the brother. That's the other made-up storyline. But look, it does sound crazy. But when you think about what a mega star she is right now, this is how you have to prevent. Like it, it could be a PR nightmare. And you know they ha- they both have teams protecting them if it weren't played out properly. Because what happens when someone starts dating another celebrity in the sports world? If they start performing poorly, yeah, distraction. They're the reason. Right. They're the reason. So my point is if you roll in Taylor Swift to Arrowhead this weekend, they're playing the Bears. Kelsey, eight catches, 90 yards, touchdown. Oh, she's great. If you roll in Taylor Swift when they're – you know, playing the Eagles at home and they lose, and Kelsey has five yard, you know, five catches for thirty yards. All of a sudden, Taylor Swift's the worst, and she's a distraction. Okay, so it's gone public. You heard the sound bite. Taylor Swift schedule watch, the curse watch, potential curse watch, and here's the second nugget of the story and question we're going to pose to you, and we'll get your feedback next. Based on this sort of commotion that could potentially happen, is she the most famous person in the world right now? Right now. Ooh. Not ever. I'm saying right now. 